Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to talk about Pinocchio.computer. Now a couple of things before we get started. The reason that this is so good is because it takes the coding and the complicated nature of LLMs and AI etc away from the user. So what does that actually mean? It means that instead of doing things like learning how to install PyTorch and learning about NVIDIA CUDA and all that really, really ridiculously complicated stuff. Instead, it gives you a place where it will install those things automatically for you without any problems. Now, before we get into this, I do want to say that this is an independent developer. And although people have looked at the code and they say the code is fine, that doesn't mean the code will always be fine. This is completely free. So, I mean, there is a question over the motives. A lot of people say that the person that created this software is just trying to give access to all AI to everyone. But I mean, you've always got to think about people's actual motives, okay? Um, the creator, Cocktail Peanut, people do say he's a good guy, etc., etc. But yeah, you you got to be careful with these things, okay? So if you've got an antivirus, make sure you've got your antivirus running. I don't. <laughs> I trust people far too much, but let's just get into this video and talk about what this thing can actually do. So first of all, you want to click download right here. Click on Windows, click to download Pinocchio for Windows. Uh, the website is Pinocchio.computer. I don't think that's how you actually spell Pinocchio. I'm pretty sure K is not an, an Italian letter. Um, yeah, it's CCHI, it's not K, but that's fine. Um, I guess they're playing on Pinocchio. And what this can do, so text generation web UI, this is something that I've never been successful in getting to run on my computer. So the aim of this video is to see whether I can get text generation web UI to run on my computer now that I don't have to do all of the ridiculously complicated steps myself, but instead I can just one click install. There are other things here too. I'm mainly interested in text gen web UI because you can install things such as you know, the free open source large language models. I've never successfully run an LLM on my computer locally. So this could be the day. All you need is this 300 megabyte thing. That's what people are saying anyway. There's also LoRa's, which I've never really got to grips with. Comfy UI. All of the things that people you've probably heard quite a lot about. So Stable Diffusion Web UI on Automatic 1111. This is something that I could also not get to run on my computer. So let's see if we can actually do it in this video. So once it's installed, you want to click show in folder, obviously, and then you want to extract it. I'd have already run through this process, but I will just do this quickly again. Remember, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is something that I've not successfully been able to do even once. So you double click Pinocchio setup 0.1.47. And then it's going to say that this has a virus or not a virus. It's going to say that um, this is not a real program or something. So I'm just going to click more info and then run anyway because I like to live on the wild side of life. And then this is Pinocchio. This is what the app looks like. So once you're on here, if, if you're following this video and if you dare to run this program on your computer, click discover right here and then find whatever you want to run. So I want to see if I can get an LLM to run on my computer. Like I said, I've never been able to do it before. So I'm going to click on text generation web UI and I'm going to press download. And then conda uh, git zip conda node.js registry vs. They all need to be installed, so just press install. Now, I have never been able to get conda to even install on my computer, okay? I'm really not very good with this kind of like running a program locally. I've just, I just don't understand it. There's so many different steps. There's so many different processors and GPUs and CPUs. It just confuses the hell out of me, okay? So instead, what I'm gonna try, like I said, is we're gonna be trying Pinocchio. So I'm gonna let that run. This is probably gonna take a long time. And then after this, we have to download a 10 gigabyte LLM as well. Um, so it's definitely gonna take a bit of doing. But the idea, I believe, is that it will just work because it's on this program instead of doing everything myself, basically. So we'll test this out. 
I'm going to test this out in front of all of you guys live, and yeah, we'll see what happens, basically. Okay, so Pinocchio has installed. I'm not really sure <laughs> what to do now. Let's just press download on everything that comes up. Download, download, download. Okay, we should have the web UI. If I click here, let's just press install again, I guess. Okay, so if you go back on the main Pinocchio thing right here and then press the home button, it does say launch. This says it's installing, but I'm just going to press launch here because I'm impatient. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so moment of truth. That now says that that is done. So let's press launch here. Does this work? Okay, it looks like uh, it's worked, but there's no model just yet. So we do have to download a model. So let's just go to model real quick. It says model none. So let's go. To, let's go get a model. So what we want to do is hugging face LLM models. We'll just find a random one. I'm not sure really which one to download. They are pretty big. So... I've got no idea what to download. I think one of them is called like Dolphin LLM or something. I'm really not an expert on this. Okay, this one here, I'm just going to download... Uh, I think this is Llama 7 billion bits. The reason I'm downloading this one is because it's got 900 downloads. So <laughs> should be fine. All we have to do is put it here, I believe, and then just press download, and that will start the download. That's going to take a long time, so I'll be back. Okay, so apparently to use um, the Dolphin one from Meta, you need to be approved. So I'm just going to use this instead, Mistral 7B Open Orca. I'm just going to try this out, see what happens. Let's see if we can finally get an LLM to run on my computer. Be back in God knows how long. Okay, so it's a few hours later. It's now two in the morning. And I've been doing this for a while. It looks like it's actually going to work, though, finally. The model has been loaded. So this, is, this does actually work, but it's just completely not usable with my computer, unfortunately. However, that's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is to show people this new software that does everything for you. I could never get to this point before. And yes, it still doesn't really work, but it's just because my computer is not powerful enough. I have to use CPU instead of GPU. And if you know anything about this, you'll know that it doesn't really work. However, I'm very, very pleased to even get to this point. I'm going to keep playing around with this. I'm going to find things that I can actually do. So, yeah, this is absolutely not sustainable on my computer, unfortunately. I do have AMD, which sucks. Uh, I'm probably going to get an NVIDIA pretty soon. It's going to actually be the end of this video. A bit of a weird one, I know. However, if you do have a better computer than me, then, yeah, you've got everything you need. Basically, you download any model you want, press download, and then press refresh here. Once it's finished downloading, it'll tell you that it's downloaded here. Select the model, press load, and then pray that your computer is strong enough, which mine, unfortunately, is not. Anyway, that was a super fun video. I want to play around with some other things on this software, Pinocchio, and see what I can actually get to run. I'll see you very, very soon, probably with some more content about Pinocchio. Peace out.